Welcome to Inner Peace with Dr. Reese, a program that can help you become liberated in the modern world. Now, here's your host, Dr. So Kevin are you ready w. Reese. To die. <laughs> Welcome to episode number 140. Of course, every five episodes, I talk to you one on one. And today, I want to talk to you about a movie I just saw. Now, if you follow this podcast, you know I don't watch very many movies. But when I do find one that I think is curriculum, I want to talk about it. And this movie is called Don't Look Up. (laughs) It just came out maybe a year ago, six months ago, whatever. It stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence. The premise of the movie is that the scientists discover a comet that's coming to Earth. And in six months' time, this comet is going to hit and destroy mankind and animals, etc. The scientists report it to the government. Now, the movie's a satire. It's a parody about everything going on in the world. (laughs) And so the president doesn't really care because she's worried about winning election, her next election. And the scientists flip out over it because it's very serious serious to them so then they go to the media they go on television and the media doesn't care they play it off as a joke (laughs) so then the government goes and (laughs) compensates the scientists because they just gave out confidential information so then the White House is like all right you might have been right and now this campaign starts interestingly enough the scientist played by Leo DiCaprio he ends up becoming a celebrity he's on TV all the time People like him on social media. You know, it's a parody of Fauci, kind of, right? And he ends up liking that. He ends up cheating on his wife because he he gets caught up in the fame. You know, he's a nerd who's getting some fame. (laughs) The other scientist, not so much because she flips out on TV. Now she becomes a meme. And throughout the whole thing, it's just this parody of how our society doesn't care. Our society is so distracted with social media and celebrities that we don't pay attention to the real issues. And even our government is now show business, right? And so, in that regard, it's kind of funny to see it play out in a movie as this big, dark parody. (laughs) Oh, it also parodies the technology and how the technology is getting more advanced and we're going to become like robots. So, in that regard... It's pretty funny, but that's not why it's curriculum. It's curriculum because everyone's going to (laughs) die. Oh, the other parody is that, (laughs) I'm out of order here. The other parody is that people gravitate towards the the comet and they break off into groups they're divided just like 
in normal society. So you have the look up movement and the look down movement. And then they're talking about the comet. Don't look up, don't look down. And and so just like normal in America, people are split. You know, the the anti mask people, the mask people. The anti vax people, the vax people. Right? The the anti climate change people, the climate change people. And it's division. And this movie highlights that division. <laughs> But then in the movie, things get real when people finally start seeing the comet. And it's like, whoa, there it is. And it's getting closer and closer. And now everyone starts to panic. The underlying meaning of this is what would you do If you only had six months to live. How would you live your life if you only had six months to live? Now, I just talked to uh, Ryan Luelf. And you heard about his cancer journey just a few episodes ago. And how he was given three or four months to live. But this comet scenario... Is the whole world. It's not just you. It's your family. It's your friends. It's people across the world you've never even met. It's the animals, the birds, the bees, the the elephants, the dogs, the cats, and the lions. It's everyone. So what would you do? And this is significant. And of course, death comes up on this podcast a lot because it's the most important event that will happen in your life. It's knowing that you can die. Not just at 80 years old, which is the average life expectancy, but but today. Tomorrow. Two weeks from now. It could happen at any time. And how are you going to handle that? Are you okay with leaving behind everything? People get frightened of death. I know somebody who just almost died and they were really scared. Really scared. But they're li- they're, they've are they spent their life living in lower consciousness and that's what tends to happen because people in lower consciousness are attached to control, to pride, to material items. But what happens if you let go now? What happens if you let go now, like this very moment that your ears are ingesting my voice? What if you let go right now? Could you deal with losing your loved ones? Can you? If you don't, I I talk about this topic in my new book, Peace Over Pain, is that if you let go and you're calm and you know how to meditate, then that's your last moments right there. What else is there to do but meditate, to go inside yourself, to be the watcher? And in order to do this on your so-called deathbed or death moment, you have to practice. You have to practice now.
not later. There's only now. The blue antelope told me in 2012, your practice will protect you. Six months to live. I want you to really feel that. What if you had six months to live? What do you do? What do you change? What do you say to people in your life? What is it? What attitude do you take for the next six months? I'd love to know your view, what you would do, hypothetically. Message me and let me know. Six months to live. Just don't look up. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Inner Peace with Dr. Reese. If this episode opened your heart, feel free to share on social media and tell your loved ones. Also, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Until next time, may peace be with you.